Hello, I'm M.K. Davis. I want to talk a little bit about the Patterson film and particularly some of the biomechanical things that I have seen and noticed on the film and that you might enjoy watching as well. Let's just go uh, straight to it. We'll start with what I call the arm swing. It's the black and white. Uh, it's What it does is show the, the arm and the shoulder. And the shoulder is... Uh, is you can easily see that you know it's a, a rotating joint, uh, ball and socket, what they uh, what they call a brachiation joint. Uh, a, a person with this type of, of of shoulder can swing arm over arm. Uh, let's do it. That first one is kind of big, but it'll it'll go down. You see how the skin is stretching right there, uh, where the where the arm meets the body. You know, uh, see, when you see a lot of that going on all at the same time, you know what you're looking at. It's uh, whatever people may think about it or say about it. Uh, it's not a cartoon. It's for real. Let's try this one and see if it's any better. It may be the same thing. Yeah. A lot of swinging. Okay. Yeah, here's another one. Let's try it. Looks like same thing. Let's move on. Here's some back detail. As well as the rear end. But the back itself. Uh, when one of these things is finally examined, they'll have to do DNA testing and all that. But it it has all the tools of a human being, but clearly not not a modern person. Let's see again. Uh oh. Here's some more examples of the back. And you can see them even, even in the distance with a contrast boost. I think I've used this illustration before. You can see the skin through there just as you can this man here. It's, she just kind of haired over, but she's not, she's not a, that's not a coat of fur. She's not keeping warm with that. Neither is he. He wouldn't be able to stand the cold. There's another mechanism for that. These are all uh, when you think you would think that she was too far away to get any to glean any more from the film. Uh, think again. This film is a really good film. All right, here's another one that's got back muscles. Let's just see. What do you see moving there? And this is very well uh, stabilized so that you can see what's going on up and down the back. 
take a really good look at this. You can even see the breasts moving up front. Now, okay, one more here. Back muscles. You can see that pretty good. You can see the muscles. You can see the glutes moving. You can see everything up and down the back. But it looks even better when it's small. Yeah, it's more condensed. Hold it. What happened? There we go. There we go. Every time I touch that thing, it goes dark. That's just, that's just, uh, when I move it to this mode, that's uh, the only choice I have. So it's kind of small. But you can see the back muscles moving up and down there. Right here underneath the uh, the right shoulder, right in there. Sometimes uh, if it's too big uh, on your screen, you can just back away, you know, where it'll, you can see it from a distance and it, it, uh, it, it kind of comes together better. It's not as grainy. Well, that is uh, all I have for today. And I'll try to have something for you most days. And this stuff is not small stuff. It's <laughs> any one of these would have sufficed uh, to demonstrate that it's real if it were of anything other than a Sasquatch. Now, Impossible standards that should not be forced on this film. It is clearly authentic and it's clearly real. It's not a cartoon. It's not anybody's imagination. And the days of this this old old uh, third, fourth, fifth generation copies being used and allowing people's imaginations to go wild are over. And you, you see enough stuff on it now. You don't have to have 
a, a voucher. You don't have to have someone saying, I swear this is real. Here's the film of a black silhouette. Now, you just better believe it. No, those days are gone. Go back. I didn't even know what that was. That's just the neck turning. These are pretty old files. There we go. I thank you for your time.